2023. I feel like this year is going to be really, really good. I really do. I know some people are like iffy about it. I don't know. I feel like this year is going to be good. I feel like there's going to be a little bit of adventure. I feel like there's going to be a lot of growth, a lot of maturing. I'll be turning 26 soon, so that's exciting. And yeah, it's just going to be, it's going to be a great year. what to do welcome or welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is Ashley welcome today though we are welcoming the new year by making sure our shit is together so I'm going to go ahead and go make a breakfast this morning I did a little bit of journaling a little bit of meditation um, and now I'm just gonna go make myself some toast and eggs <laughs> Clarkson still slaps in 2023. Hey! <laughs> Alright, so I got the house all tidied up. I got everything situated. Everything's just feeling nice and fresh and clean. I think tomorrow I'm going to spend the day taking Christmas down. Yeah, that's going to be really nice to just kind of get back to normal, get back to how the living room usually looks. I love Christmas. I really do. I love changing it up. But I do love my like regular decor. So we're gonna go to the Bucks real quick, Starbucks. I'm gonna grab myself a drink. I was looking at my rewards this morning and I was like, oh, we have we have a free drink waiting for us. So I'm gonna go pick that up and then run over to Sephora. Whew, this line's probably hella long. Also, I gave myself a trim on my hair and like shaped my face up a little bit with face framing pieces um but i chopped like like three inches off which is a lot for me y'all which is a lot for me but i think i might grab some food like a croissant i shouldn't serve a children are you ready hi there can i do a chocolate croissant as well as a venti um brown sugar shaken espresso yeah, absolutely. Anything else for you? That should do it. All right, it's 1052 the Thank you. Th thank you. Also, <laughs> cramping really hard today, which means my period is probably going to start either tonight or tomorrow. So, yay me. <laughs> also, I'm wearing this really cute choker. I really like it. I, like, want to go run and buy, like, 10 more. I really love them. Um, it's for my husband for Christmas. So, yeah. I don't know y'all, I'm just feeling really good. I'm just feeling good. Feeling good, like I should. Do you guys ever like, when you pull up to the light and they're not like directly next to you, but they're in the lane next to that lane and you just awkwardly feel like you're just both like, uh, I don't know, I just, I get so awkward sometimes. But now we are headed to Sephora. But I'm gonna have my chocolate croissant while it's still nice and warm. I obviously did some goal making and I have, um, I have like 10 big goals for the new year. And obviously within those goals is like little mini goals or like 10 things I wanna focus on. And within those, I have my goals. One though that I wanna share with you guys is your girl has not been healthy lately. Like I haven't been healthy probably since like our wedding in August. I've just been eating like shit. I've been eating whatever I want, going to McDonald's, like 
three times a week. Like it is not good. The saturated fats that I've been eating cannot be healthy for me. So, um, obviously since your girl is PMSing, we're being a little gentle on ourselves right now, but I am cutting out soda. Um, I do have like a little lenient rule is occasionally I'm allowed to have Sprite and ginger ale because those are like two that I feel like are not that bad. I mean, also just bad, let's be honest, but I, I don't want to like completely restrict myself because that's when like, you know, when you, when you're told that you can't do something, it makes you want to do it even more. Nothing, nothing. It's going to be so sad. I don't know how I'm going to cope because soda, y'all, I drink soda like water, but I need to cut it out. I really need to cut it out because it's not doing my body anything at all. So we're going to switch to drinking more tea and more water. I hate water. Yeah, I got to eat healthier while I take a big bite of my chocolate croissant. <laughs> Another little thing that I will be working on this year is I am going to stop smoking, which is not sad because it's not serving me anymore, but I don't know. I just think like, you know, my husband and I were transitioning into, you know, probably becoming parents soon not saying like it's happening anytime soon y'all don't like I still have to get my IUD out so calm down but I need to start kind of mentally preparing for that um and I know smoking is probably the biggest thing I need to kick um plus it's just like I don't know it's just not doing it for me anymore I feel like part of that overconsumption conversation I've been having for the past few months is like I've been over consuming cannabis too and it's just it's not not serving me the way I want it to do anymore so I'm not saying I'm completely but it is on the timeline that I am going to quit smoking especially because I'm not good I smoke blunts and that's even worse so it's like I really need to kick out but yo can somebody point me to where it like scientifically scientifically proves that like chocolate helps when you're on your period or like you know cramping and shit because I don't know what it is but chocolate really does chocolate does it for me y'all <laughs> let's go Arizonian oh yum god fuck me up the brown sugar shake and espresso so good there's an Ulta over here I totally forgot duh Duh. Going right there. Wow, why does it look so busy? I guess it is Sunday. successful it might be a bad thing that was so good also uh tried the hydro grip milk primer finally for the first time in forever and y'all i see what the hype is about i see what the hype is about what are you doing jeep and that's why if you don't know how to drive your big car you shouldn't get your big car but I'm gonna run in here real quick and then we're gonna go to Target, so. I'm just doing all the shopping today. It's all fun, y'all. Just that retail therapy. Oh, which is not good because I was gonna do that tomorrow. <laughs> ah, let's go see what this Ulta has for us. Holy shit, it was really busy in there. Everybody in their damn mama, grandma, aunt, cousin, everybody was in there. It was hella busy, so. But I uh, got a few things from there, nothing crazy. Also, does ColourPop not make the cream blush anymore? Because I couldn't find it. Like, not that they were sold out, like I couldn't even find empties, you know? Well, 
I stop for you and then you lollygag. Like, come on, don't be fucking rude. We are done and we can go home. While I was in the checkout line, I fucking forgot bread. <laughs> it's fine, I can wait till tomorrow. I'm gonna go to Costco tomorrow because I have a big, um, I have like some household things that I need that I like to re-up at Costco with. So yeah, but that was a pretty successful Target haul, Target shopping. I'm gonna get home and I'm gonna show you guys all the goodies I got from Sephora, Ulta, and Target. So yeah, I will uh, catch you guys back at the house. All right, you guys, just got back from Target, Ulta, and Sephora, and I'm gonna show you guys all the goodies I got. I had to grab some candles. So I grabbed two scented candles. These are gonna be for either the bedroom or near my office area. I like to, y'all, I don't know what it is. I love candles. I love burning candles. I head and went with these. They were just super aesthetically pleasing and they smelled great. This is red bamboo and apple. This one is sea salt and sage. Also got some candles for manifestation. Um, I'm totally just kind of learning about manifesting with like colored candles and stuff. So I'm still dipping my toes into that, but I picked up red and I picked up yellow. New moon or full moon, excuse me, is this Friday. So I thought it'd be really good to get those. Um, and then I did pick up some tea, as you guys heard earlier in today's vlog. I am cutting out soda this year no more i can't do it anymore it's just no so i'm switching to teas but i've been rotating through the like same three teas um so i wanted to get a little bit of variety so i got the tazo pumpkin spice latte um in the like concentrate um i'm a pumpkin girly even if it ain't fall pumpkin Pumpkin anytime is great. And then this just sounded really good. This is one of their dessert delights. This is the vanilla meat, vanilla bean macaroon. It's a black tea with um, fragrant vanilla and a dash of cinnamon. So I thought that sounded pretty yummy. So I'm excited to try those. And then also with me not consuming uh, soda, I got some crystal light because this is always the way that I'm like able to wean myself off of soda. I've done it before um, and Crystal Light was like the way that helped me enjoy water and not get bored of it. So I picked up blackberry lemonade, blue ras or blueberry and raspberry and berry sangria. So I'm excited for these also. All right, now on to the real reason we went out and that was for Ulta and Sephora. So I'm gonna start with Ulta first. First thing I got was this Morphe Blush Balm. It's a cream blonde, cream blonde, cream, I can't speak, a cream blush. Um, it's really cute and compact. I got it in the Audacious Apricot color. I got this Kenra product. Y'all, I'm a Kenra lover. I don't know what it is. I feel like the Kenra products just work really well with my hair. Um, but this one was on like the little clearance rack, so I thought I'd try it out. It is the Invisible Top Coat. It's a smoothing humidity resistant spray. Um, Y'all know I got all these little flyaways, so hopefully this works. Next thing I got was some face masks. Um, your girl just has like one face mask in my um, collection and in it's just looking sad. So I wanted to give myself a few options. First thing, Freeman, look at them. They rebranded, is this new? Like, um, has this been like this for a while? I haven't tried Freeman in like two plus years probably. Um, but they had this in shower warming mask, which sounded really cool. It's a pure, it's for purifying your pores. And you basically put it in, in the shower and then before you get out, you wash it off. But it's like a gel to oil type of mask, so I thought that was exciting. And then I did get the exfoliating scrub mask, the charcoal one. Honestly, my husband really likes the charcoal masks, especially around his T-zone, so he'll probably use this more than I will, but I have it if we need it. And then I did wanna pick up a few masks from Ulta, just cause they were on sale. So I got this coconut sheet mask, 
this probiotic cream mask, a banana sheet mask, and a rose sheet mask. So all about the masks. And then over at Sephora, that was probably the most fun. Um, the Sephora inside my Kohl's is like a full on Sephora. It has fragrance, it has skincare, it had like everything. So picked up a few eye masks while I was there. Honestly guys, I haven't been an eye mask person like ever, but um, your girl's getting older and I'm like starting to see the crow's feet and I'm starting to see the like aging on my face and I'm like, ah, we gotta stop it. So um, I picked up two of the anti-fatigue and anti-dark circle eye masks and then I picked up one of the smooth and energizing coffee ones. So I'm excited to give those a try. And then the real reason I went in there was to restock on my water sleeping mask by Laneige. Laneige. I've used this before, I really like it. It's very hydrating, um, not too thick, but I really like that it's like watery, like high, Like I feel like I can feel the hydration in it. So I really like that. And then I also got suckered into buying this. I almost bought this a couple days online, uh, like a couple days ago online, um, but I went in there and I like applied it on my hand and I walked around and I was like oh god I have to get this so this is the sea rush brightening gel cream um, very excited for this it's brightening age defying and a 24 hour hydration baby girl this thing ain't cheap it was like 50 bucks for this little small jar and then I grabbed a replacement of my hyaluronic acid by the ordinary I feel like this stuff really does help with my drying, my dryness, just in general, my face. A lot of the times when I use this, I feel like it really helps. And then one of the things that caught my eye that honestly I probably wouldn't have bought unless it was on sale, it was like 28 bucks um, after all the sales on it. So it says it was 40, but then um, since it was like a holiday thing, it was discounted for like, you know, trying to sell out, trying to get it out of the store. So, um, oh, there's two products in here. What? I thought there were only one. What a pleasant surprise. Oh, it's two things. Is it like two masks? Pair up with our deep cleansing face mask to help minimize the appearance of pores and reduce excess oil. I don't know, you guys. Is this the same thing? Why don't we pull it out and look at it? All right, rare earth, did I get it? Oh. Oh, it came with a travel size. This is like worth, already worth. I haven't even tried it yet. Um, so it's the rare earth deep pore cleansing mask with Amazonian white clay. Intensely purifies to minimize your pores. Me and Dr. Kiehl's, we get along. Pretty much everything from Kiehl's that I put on my face has always been really nice. So I did not know it was a two four. I didn't know it come. It came with a little. I'm like shocked. This is like Christmas all over again. <laughs> Speaking of Christmas, it is my birthday month. So when I was in there, I got a birthday gift. So I was actually really excited for this because I actually went to Sephora strictly to smell and try out some of the replica stuff. So I actually in my cart already had um, like a trio of the replica scents. Um, and then she's like, oh, it's your birthday. Like choose one of your birthday gifts. And then I saw this and I was like, oh, go ahead and take the replica thing off because I'm just gonna try out my free gift. So this is the replica birthday little gift that they have going on. It comes with a sample of Jazz Club, a sample of By the Fireplace, and then a sample of Beach Walk. So honestly, I'm excited for all of them. I'm just, I've been really into perfumes the last, I don't know, like six months. And this is one that I've been wanting to smell and uh, have had my eye on. So I'm excited for it. And then the last thing that I picked up, just cause I, you know, needed it, I, I realized I have one bronzer that is like really dark and really golden more for like a summer bronzer um, and I didn't really have like a winter or um, non sparkly bronzer so I'm gonna be honest y'all I'm not usually a bronzer person I'm definitely more of a blush gal but I needed to add a bronzer to my collection because sometimes my foundations are just too white and I need to like bring some life back to my face so I went ahead and got the Sephora brand um, 
Sicily bronzer. It was like the lightest bronzer they had. Honestly, it's just gonna be for a little bit of contouring and pretty much darkening up any foundation and stuff like that. So I don't know about y'all, but I will say, I think this was a successful 2023 bringing in the new year haul. So I'm excited to go put this stuff all in my bathroom and um, light up my candles. Okay, all my new goodies are put away. I would say we had a pretty successful day um, getting all ready for the new year. Um, but there's one more thing that is on my to-do list before I feel like I am ready to conquer the new year. That is a digital declutter. Probably the thing I'm not looking forward to and that's gonna be very tedious, but I'm gonna spend the evening basically taking every digital device I have and, um, and I'm gonna clean them up. So what that means is on my iPad, I'm gonna go through all my apps, all my folders, delete stuff that I don't use anymore, maybe stuff that I had set up for my old job or you know just stuff I don't use anymore as well as I'm going to go into my email I'm going to unsubscribe from things that I no longer care to see in my mailbox so this is also something that's going to take more than one day especially with like unsubscribing and stuff like that I might miss something and then of course when it comes in I can just unsubscribe from it when I see it but yeah, I'm gonna do that this evening and then I'm gonna cook dinner. But that's basically what I'm gonna be doing for the remainder of the evening is my digital declutter. But it's something that I feel like is long overdue. It is. So I'm gonna focus on that and then I'm gonna cook dinner tonight. So we're gonna have a little chili, a little turkey chili, and I'm excited for it. So, yeah. All right, y'all, dinner is ready. Your girl is tired. I'm gonna go ahead and relax the rest of the night. I'm probably gonna watch The Circle on Netflix. So if you've watched this latest season, let me know what you think down below. And don't forget to hit subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed already. And yeah, give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you guys later.